Meanwhile, protests and counter-protests took place in the streets of Scotia today. Environmentalists engaged in shouting matches with timber supporters while law enforcement officials stood by making sure things did not get out of hand. Medgat Lutsky has more. It was the day of the living dead in Scotia as the environmental group Earth First staged a mock funeral procession to protest the takeover of Pacific Lumber by Charles Hurwitz. Earth First claims Hurwitz plans to clear cut the forest and close down the mill, making Scotia a ghost town. As they marched through town, mourners wore paper Hurwitz masks and carried coffins labeled security, community, ecology and economy. Supporters of the lumber industry met the protesters halfway, carrying signs of their own. A spokesman for Palco employees said they're used to the protests. Pretty fed up because they know there's a lot of wrong and misinformation being put forth, you know, to the community, and they know that the forest industry has a lot of respect that they deserve, despite who owns it. You know, it's not just Palco. The Eel River's here. Everybody else is involved too. At one point, Earth First burst into song, singing an anti hurwitz tune to the tune of God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, and attempted to heal an effigy of him. The demonstrators' chant of Heal Horowitz was countered by PL supporters chanting back, Go Home. Environmental protests are not exclusive to Humboldt County. Demonstrations are going on throughout the Northwest. Uh, there seems to be a tremendous uh, opposition out there to harvesting timber uh, in the entire region now. May God Lusky, Eyewitness News. Good evening. If the fight between environmentalists and loggers could get any worse, it did today. Earth First proclaimed this, quote, the day of the living dead Hurwitzes, as they dressed up as the millionaire who took over Pacific Lumber and increased the cutting of redwoods. But environmentalists weren't the only ones protesting. You, you guys just want to come out here and cause trouble. No, PL was doing fine until Charlie Hurwitz came to town. And he came to town again today, dozens of him. Earth Firsters dressed as the Texas financier to protest his takeover of Pacific Lumber and increased cutting of old growth redwoods. God rest ye merry lumbermen, may not the year dismay. Remember Charlie Hurwitz has built, he has to pay. But the carolers weren't alone. Loggers and their families met the environmentalists in front of PL's office with a protest of their own. I plant trees. Dude, what the hell are you doing here? Trying what? to stop some of the big trees from getting cut down. Oh, then go my. plant another goddamn tree if There's you're so concerned. Uh, the one. You guys create the homeless and the unemployed. You're a bunch of sick people. Neighbor, people don't get a job someplace. This earth firster does have a job. She's a carpenter who believes in limited logging. I think we need to stay right here from PL. Don't give me you don't. You know you do. But if Hurwitz continues to cut redwoods at this rate, Earth First says he will make Scotia a ghost town. So today they quote, exercise the Wall Street demon. In the end, the two sides who've been battling for years were split farther apart. The environmentalists trying to save trees, the workers trying to save their jobs. Oh. Susan Thomas, Channel 6 News.